to sleep with him. But really, it's no big deal. What's wrong with you? No, no, I know you, Natty. I didn't sleep well last night. Give me a break. Okay. Jared had my sister committed. Top that. And Corinne says Wally Balsam might not be my real father. You, you win. win. <sighs> Corinne was about to board some Codra cruise, so I took Adriana over to Pals to meet her. So what, at lunch and Corinne was just like, oh, by the way, Wally's not your dad? I said that I knew there was some kind of secret. We keep talking about the wedding, and uh, anytime anything comes up about family, Roxy just starts acting totally bizarre. Yeah, I noticed that at the hospital. So I started pumping Corinne, and uh, she drops the bomb. No, if I were you, I'd be breaking up the champagne. Let's see, what did you do when you found out you were not a balsam? Oh, that's right, you figured out a way to blackmail your new family. I never said that I was perfect. But would you rather be the son of an alcoholic, brainwashed baby snatcher? Uh, you know, Wally or Roxy? Look, Roxy has got her good points. But Wally was a Mitch Lawrence zombie. He, he helped Mitch Lawrence take me away from my real family, Rex. Hello, I thought we were talking about me here. You hit the daily double when Allison Perkins introduced you to the Buchanan's. I doubt that Roxy hooked up with a prince or a millionaire. Okay, this is not a joke. You're telling me? This kind of thing is not supposed to happen to me. I'm Rex Balsam, son of a two total screw-ups. Whenever I screw up myself, I have to tell myself at least I'm doing a hell of a lot better than either one of those two did. Now I'm son of Roxanne, Louise Lipschitz, and fill in the blank. My whole self-sense of worth shot to hell. So, what are you gonna do? about it? I'm not gonna whine. I'm gonna find my daddy. You're gonna help. Max, you are about to get married to Adriana, and you two have something incredible, something that I envy. And you should be focusing on your future. I'm not mucking around the past trying to find some mystery father. So you're not gonna help? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But you said that every time you bring up family, Roxy gets weird. Yeah. So, if Roxy's ashamed of this guy, maybe it's not such a good thing. Maddie, if Wally wasn't my father, I need to find out who was for all kinds of reasons. What do you want me to do? Remember anything you can about when I was a baby. I was at the top of that. Whatever you can remember from back then might help. Uh, any, anything that, that Roxy might have said, or if anybody came around asking about me after I went to live with Aunt Corinne. Okay. But you're not going to like it. Maddie, just tell me. Okay. When Aunt Corinne took you away, there were... Let's just be honest with you. You're late. We were right over there. Well, I'm right over here. Whatever. We're the clients and you work for us. Not yet, I do. An itemized estimate for a surprise birthday party in Ultraviolet. Oh, come on, this is way more than what we talked about. Are you trying to jip us? <clears throat> uh, well, you're all minors. I had to factor in the money I'd be losing at the bar. This is ridiculous. Well, I hear St. Bartholomew's has a terrific basement. It's only 250 bucks, and that includes Sister Mary Margaret's rap version of Dominique. Jerk. That went well. Forget them. <clears throat> Pick up where you left off. Okay, when Anne Karen took you away, there were these... Let me put it this way. They were like uncles. I'll bet. Yeah, there was you know, Uncle Trucker, Uncle Biker, Uncle Blackjack Dealer, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam? Yeah, he just... He wore red, white, and blue shirts. Anyway, not... They came and went. Uh, do you remember if any of them looked like me? Rex, this was like 20 years ago. Back to square one. You're not gonna give up, are you? Eddie, you saw the way Roxy reacted when I brought it up. She nearly jumped out of her skin. Yeah. I know she's hiding something big. Okay, so what's next? Anyone who knows around the hotel. She usually hides things in weird places. Maybe I'll find something that'll at least get me started. Okay, I'm coming with you then. What? And neither one of us may be bosses anymore, but I am still your big sister. Plus that, you got me curious. Let's go. Wait, do you really think that Roxy would be dumb enough to hide something important in here? What's this? Hide something? Oh. It's Roxy with Michael and Marcy and Tommy. It's weird, isn't it? What? 
Here we are snooping around trying to find out who your real father is, and Tom, Sam, ends up with his real father just in time to grow up with him. Well, I'm not sure that's a big plus for Tommy, considering who his dad turned out to be. Yeah. So do you think that we're still his godparents? Blair and your Uncle Todd hate my guts. They're never gonna let me anywhere near that kid. And Todd's determined to crucify Marcy. Go to work. I can take care of things here. Okay. Right. I love you. Right. Watch me here! Oh, stop it. See you later. Bye. I know. I know, okay? Um, what do we do about it now? Hey, you guys, Natty, I gotta talk to you. Really? Maybe about something weird I heard at my mother's? About her boyfriend, Charlie, being your dad? It's kind of incredible. Yeah, but true. Uh, I'm sorry to do this, but uh, can you guys talk about this later? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, it's pretty meaningless anyway. I, I mean, I just finally found out who my father was. No biggie. Rex, I'm sorry, okay? I know it's important and it is a really big deal, but Natalie and I were just in the middle of something. Rex, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll, I'll call you because I really want to hear more about this. Much, much more. We're all wrong about Jerry. Wonder what he was going to say. Amazing. Right, Natty, what this guy did tonight? Yeah, sure what? Hey, I just happened to be there, that's all. I did what anyone would have done. Charlie, Rex is proud of his father. Don't be so modest. Yeah, Charlie, you saved Jared's life. I mean, Dorian was right. You went above and beyond. So I guess you can keep seeing my mom. <laughs> what, I passed the test, huh? With flying colors. Oh. Somewhat. He seems to be in some kind of a discussion with Dorian. Yeah. So what is she bothering him about now? Doesn't the guy need to rest after what he's been through? You know what? I'll get rid of her. Well, no. Would you two like to join us for breakfast tomorrow morning? Definitely. Good. Yeah. Good. Great. Uh, you sure Charlie will be up for it, though? Uh, after what he's been through, he might just want to take it easy for a couple of days. Well, if he uh, is not up for it, then we'll postpone it. But right now, let's say it's a go, huh? Good. Uh, Natalie, if you're going to be around, um, want to look through some bridal magazines? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you could help me pick out some bridesmaid dresses since you'll be wearing one of them. You know what? I would love to help you. And maybe Charlie can help me. How? Well, since your mom and my dad are looking more and more cozy every time I see him, I, I, well, not, not cozy, cozy, as Davidson. <laughs> Anyway, since your mom and my dad are friends, maybe he can persuade Dorian into knowing that her future son-in-law isn't totally useless.